The Team USA women's basketball roster came out. Um, there was a big outrage over Caitlin Clark not making it. Breaking, Caitlin Clark will be left off Team USA women's basketball roster for the Summer Olympics per Shams. USA team yesterday, the roster come out. Yeah, I think uh, I'm excited for the girls that are on the team. Um, I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know it could have gone either way of me being on the team, me not being on the team. So, um, you know, I'm excited for them. I'm going to be rooting them on to, to win gold. Um, I, I was a kid that grew up. Uh, watching the Olympics, so um, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun to watch them. Honestly, no disappointment. Like I think it just gives you something something to work for. Um, you know, that's a dream. You know, hopefully one day I can be there. And uh, I think it's just a little more motivation. Uh, you, you remember that, and um, you know, hopefully in four years, when four years comes back around, you know, I can be there. They called me and, and let me know, and uh, before everything came out, which was you know really respectful of them, and I appreciated that. And they did the same for every girl that made the team or every girl that um, didn't make the team. You know, there's a lot of players in the, in the Olympic pool, so uh, it wasn't like I was the only one they had to call. They had to make quite a few calls. Or to a break. They said a big reason she didn't make it is because of her getting limited minutes, as well as um her being a distraction because of her fan base, which was like I never heard of that. That's that's insane to me. Team USA veterans were concerned about how Caitlin Clark's millions of fans would react to her likely limited playing time on a stacked Olympic roster. Concern over how Clark's millions of fans would react to will likely be limited playing time on a stacked roster was a factor in decision making. True, that would be an extraordinary admission of the tension that T Million Dollar Sensation, who signs autographs for dozens of children before and after every game, has caused for the old guard of women's basketball. This is true, which it looks like it's true so far. There's two problems with this. One, they're saying she was good enough to get the spot and two they're saying because of her popularity they're not giving her the spot like i've never heard of that so because somebody is too popular you're not going to give somebody the spot like what the that's that's crazy even if it's limited minutes right from a business aspect you would think that like okay look this is an up-and-coming star look what she's done for women's basketball she's someone we have to put on the roster looking at the roster put you put caitlin on there because people are going to watch it's the fact that like they they were willing to offer the spot but they said, oh, we're not going to give it to her because we're worried about how her fans will react. Can't be preaching we want growth on one hand. And then when, when there's a talent like Caitlin Clark who's who's coming into your lead, who can help your lead grow, you have an opportunity to put her on a roster, which is going to bring more eyes to USA Women's Basketball as well as continue growing the game. And you don't even give her the opportunity to, you know, like that's just... This is unfair to me, especially if the opportunity was present. Lisa Leslie said that she said, I don't know how you leave the country without her. I guess we'll find out what an incredibly missed opportunity this is to grow the game of women's basketball. Clark would have brought countless eyeballs, reporters, coverage, interests as she did in the NCAA and now the WNBA. The public hasn't cared about the WNBA or women's basketball as a whole for decades. Historically, attendance numbers, TV ratings for both NCAA and WNBA show that women's basketball has a player in Caitlin Clark that is must see TV. More people watch women's women's final four than the men's final four it's the nba finals there's more buzz around clark than luca Kyrie, or anyone on the celtics WNBA attendance numbers are up across the board but fever games at home and on the road are two times any other team leaving her off the u.s olympic is either pettiness stupidity or both you guys gotta think the fever of two and nine they just played the Washington something. I don't think they've won a game this season. The attendance was higher than the NBA Finals. Both teams on paper suck. People would rather watch them because of a girl named Caitlin Clark than they would the NBA Finals with Luka, Kyrie, Jason Tatum. So look, the Fever and Washington game, 20,000 people. The NBA Finals game won 19,000 people. A girl was bringing them type of numbers in. Couldn't even give her a slot. And you got, and I feel like USA, you know, we're being honest. I think USA is going to win regardless. But like, it's just a missed opportunity business wise. You guys been preaching like you want more eyes on your game. You have somebody who's bringing more eyes for everybody. Like, that's just dumb to me, in my opinion. This is what the bar store owner said. How dumb are these women? How dumb? I don't know who's making the decision, women's Olympic committee, whatever it is. I don't care if you don't think Caitlin Clark talent-wise belongs on this team, even though she does put up 37 of 13, like the most points in the history of the league for a rookie. I don't, none of it matters. These women, and I love women. I'm a pro woman guy, women guy. They complain and they cry about equal rights, equal wages, blah, 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 blah. Hey, dummies, for the first time, like in the history of basketball, you have arguably a player who is the most popular player in the world. But you could argue right now, Caitlin Clark is the most talked about, discussed, most popular, most puts asses in the seats, single basketball player in the world. You could argue that. Yeah, you can say maybe LeBron, Luka, whatever you want, but you can argue it. 
and you leave her off the Olympics team, it's not only a showcase for her, it's for the sport and the other WNBA players who are on this team. How dumb, how brain dead, how idiotic do the people running this thing have to be? It was Crazy. one thing after another with her. How I, I at the business part of my brain is like these people, and maybe it's a guy who did whoever it is. I don't ever want to hear you complain about flying commercial or not getting salaries or this, that. You're too dumb. You're too dumb. You have a cash cow. This can bring the Olympic basketball, women's basketball, will be like the number one thing people watch with Caitlin Clark as it is. I'd rather watch grass grow. I'd rather watch paint dry. I'd rather watch dirt just be moved around because Caitlin Clark's not on the team. If she's there, it's appointment TV. You people, whoever did this, honestly, hey, take your brain, put it in a museum, and study it for how dumb you are. And you can't say he's lying. Do not want to get more money. <laughs> like I don't, like I don't understand. Like I, I really don't get it. I've never seen a group of people try to actively ruin money for themselves. And you guys will know what's gonna happen. Like eventually, people are gonna get. People are already getting fed up. People are gonna get fed up hearing, "Oh, Caitlyn Clark, this. Here's another issue. Here's this." Like at some point, people are just gonna be like, "Okay, I'm not watching this shit no more. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm not watching it." And then what y'all gonna do? Complain? No one's gonna listen. <laughs> Might get lower to your current salary right now. Team USA announced its women's basketball roster. Not only did Caitlyn Clark not make the team, but the reasoning behind it is absolutely infuriating. According to two separate sources that are both veterans of Team USA Basketball, they didn't put Caitlin Clark on the team because they were concerned about how her fan base would react when she didn't play a lot of minutes because she's on a team with 12 of the best on the planet. Caitlin Clark is not making the Olympic team because of her fans? We are now penalizing this girl for having a big and rabid fan base? We're not coming up with hypothetical situations about how the fans might behave in the future to keep Caitlin Clark off the Olympic team? This is batshit crazy. And for what? So we can send Diana Taurasi to her sixth Olympics? She's played in 148 Team USA basketball games. She's 41. Legacy cemented. It's time for her to hang them up and let this new sensation shine on a global platform. Especially when you're talking about the Olympics, where it's about the sport and the competition and spreading the game globally. Who better to spread it to the little girls all over the world than the woman who's doing that better than anybody else ever has? If goddamn Christian Leitner can stand next to MJ and Magic Johnson on the Dream Team, we can find room for Caitlin Clark on the 2024 Olympics team. Because if it's about celebrating the sport, you're sending the most exciting player on the planet. If it's about sending your 12 best and winning, I don't think you're sending a 41 year old veteran this is a group of players and coaches who wanted to grow the game when they thought they were going to be the ones to grow it but when it turned out to be somebody else they decided to do everything they could to stand in the way of that i never seen nothing like this bro because i know people are going to comment like oh diana is still this okay that's cool bro she's 40 fucking one legacy cemented she has nothing else to prove she's played you saw the guy she's played in 148 games like there's nothing else to prove bro the WNBA is still at the like beginning stages you have someone who's bringing in so much media attention and you have a great opportunity like okay we're gonna push this globally you know a lot of people rock with her and um fuck it up I don't I don't to help you understand bro I don't get it you know like I really don't get it it's crazy but y'all let me know your thoughts on that and um as always it's your boy